What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat conversion video. So I am just cleaning out the garage. The boat is a freaking mess right now. I got everything on there that is pretty much going to be on the boat. But uh, yeah, cleaning out the garage over the last six months, I have completely destroyed this garage with boat parts, tools, metal shavings. I mean, everything that it takes to build a boat ended up on the floor. And today's the day I'm cleaning it all out. I got a bunch of stuff in the back of my truck. Some of this stuff I'm keeping, but all the old foam I took out of the boat, the old boat cover, this ice chest, the batteries I'm taking back to AutoZone, getting rid of all this stuff and taking the rest to the dump. We got the leftover foam here. We got more foam here under the boat. I already threw away one big bag of trash and boat parts and stuff I didn't want. We got some PVC pipe I need to figure out something to do with. I might use this piping to make a cover, not really sure yet, but I went ahead and took a bunch of tools back to the shed. I'm still going through all these small tools and figuring out what is going to go in my boat building box, which is going to be there, and what is going back to the shed, but most of it's going back to the shed. Got all the scrap aluminum here in one box. I have a pretty cool idea with that. I will let y'all know about that soon. Rod holders, wiring. Here is my throwaway box, so all this stuff is getting thrown away. We got new stuff I need to add to the trailer. Trailer bunk carpet. We got a whole LED trailer light kit. We got the boat buckles. Adding that to the trailer as well. Getting all my boat building stuff and parts in this box. And we finally get to uh, throw in the towel, or whatever they say, we're done. We're not done yet. I still have to work on the electrical compartment here, and then we're done. That will be done in this video, but I just figured I'd show y'all the cleanup process of building a boat. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to not see this freaking mess anymore. Just, just get it all back to organize. Get my life back on track and organize this boat build. It was uh, it was 24/7, man. Me building this boat, editing the videos. I kind of throw everything else to the side when I got a big project like this. So I'm happy that today is the day I get to clean and organize my life and get it all back on track and back to normal. I'm telling you guys, after this video, the boat is done and I get to go back to going to the lake every single day and fishing every single day and I cannot wait. It's gonna be awesome. But I'm gonna get back to cleaning and I will start working on the boat soon. All right, so here is my box of boat parts that will be going in the closet and staying in there for, I don't know how long, but got some more parts there. And then just this battery box as well. And then this box is all the stuff that's still going in the boat or possibly going in the boat. I don't have a rod holder solution yet. If you guys can think of anything for rod holders, let me know. I do want some, I do do a lot of live bait vertical fishing. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on that. But this garage looks so freaking much better already. Also guys, I forgot to mention, I got in the clamp today. So we now got this clamped on and this ain't gonna go anywhere. It's still loose enough to turn, but tight enough to not turn loosely. So it's perfect. What else? Oh. This held all of my rivets for the last six months. But I had this box on the first boat build, and this is where I kept everything like a whistle, air horn, stuff you had to have, a lanyard, extra rope, extra tools. We got boat plugs, extra fuses, just stuff I might need on the boat. So that's gonna stay on the boat. I'm happy it's not holding rivets anymore. But we got the garage somewhat situated, so now we can start working on the John boat. I got this 
last piece of aluminum here. The rest of it is in my truck. Got that all cleaned up. I'm hoping this piece is big enough because this is really the only piece this big. So I need to build a divider in this compartment right here. I want a divider to go in here, connect to this, and then go all the way across. So hopefully she's big enough. Let's measure the pocket first. So the box is one and a half foot tall and this metal here is one foot tall. So a little short, but I will be able to mess around with it and work it in with the one inch angle so I can make it work. The last piece of one inch angle. And this piece. This piece is angled to match the wall. Dude, this piece is like meant to freaking be. What? We can save this piece for something else. Cure beans. Now I need to make a template of the wall with cardboard. Drop that in, make it perfect, and then trace it out onto the metal and cut the metal out. Alright, so I just got this very rough piece cut out. I do not expect this to fit, but Let's see how it goes. If it can fit first try, that would be awesome. Not bad. Better than I thought for sure. All right, made a few adjustments, so let's try this again. Made some final adjustments. Hopefully they're final. All right, there she is. We're not using this. It has holes, I don't like that, so I'm gonna get a new piece. Holy crap, that was scary. I just drilled through this lip and I totally forgot there is a LED strip underneath there. I 100% drilled through half of the LED strip, but luckily this end of the light still works. Woo, that was scary. That was really scary. I did not like that one bit, but she still works. That is awesome. Please Lord, don't break this light, please. Okay, good deal. Okay, so I got this divider in. This divider pretty much just divides the electrical compartment with the passenger storage area. All this is going to be passenger storage. To be honest, for a 1436, this tiny little boat, this boat has a lot of storage. Probably too much to even fill up, but we got it, baby. So I need to finish the electrical side, but I wanna show y'all what I kinda did there just because that was a horrible angle and I'm sorry. So we cut out the wall, then I added this one inch angle across there. I got it riveted in here. Luckily, I did not damage this LED strip because I drilled right through the freaking center of that LED strip. <sighs> that was scary, but thankfully this light still works past that. And then I went ahead and added another one inch piece of angle at the bottom there to get the bottom supported. And I riveted this wall to this uh, rib right here as well and to this support. So it's all strong, it's not gonna go anywhere. But I do need to add some foam to it because it's not looking very pretty. I've been at it all day. 
We may just finish this boat tonight. Actually, we can't finish the boat tonight because I want to paint the top of this white. And I don't have a paintbrush tonight, so that sucks. That's the only thing that's stopping us from getting this boat done today. A storm is coming, but I'm prepared. I'll be gone for a while, but don't be scared. Right now, I don't know if I'll ever arrive. Where the grass is green, we're still alive. So we got it all foamed out, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits tonight and tomorrow I will finish off the battery charger and the battery and this whole compartment here and paint this section right here white. And uh, then the boat's done. Freaking crazy, man. So I just shut this and got ready to go inside and I did not even think for once about the latch. Luckily, I can still shut this, but so let's see, let's mark it real quick. Here is the center of the latch. Open this up and the wall is right there. I got so freaking lucky. If I would have shut that and not been able to shut the door because the freaking latch, I would have been so freaking pissed. But thank the Lord I can actually shut it. That wall did not interfere with shutting the latch. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm gonna go inside now. <laughs> Let's shut that and get it off the boat. All right, so I totally forgot about the fish finder in the back. We never mounted the bracket yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So there is that fish finder mounted. And by the way, that does not hit the door or anything like that. You can open this up. And we have plenty of room back here. This can even turn all the way or adjust it any way you want. So we are good there. So that's installed. Now we can move on to this electrical box. I went and got a paintbrush. So we can paint afterwards. All right, so last night we got the divider in. Now I just need to mount the battery charger and this battery. Let me manage these cables real quick and then we will see what room we got. All right, so we just got this strap screwed down right here with these little brackets. So that is there and this is where the battery will sit right in between those brackets and then we can strap her down that way and the battery charger is just going to go right here so i need to add two screws to this and then we can get this battery back in here get everything hooked back up and we're done baby so i wasn't too happy with just the strap going across here so i just cut up and made this aluminum bracket for it so this will fit around the battery just like that i'll be able to rivet this side down on this side and then on this side, I'm gonna add a screw in case I ever need to take it out. So that is going to be the new strap for this battery that actually holds it down. I'm still gonna run this strap across it the same way, just so it has extra support. Okay, so I got the battery all back in. It's all hooked back up. We got the charger going, charging the batteries, and I got this battery in as well. And that is so much sturdier. That is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm stoked about that. We got the charger all screwed down as well. So we are officially done in this compartment. I still need to paint this right here white. So we're not technically done, but almost done. I'm gonna get paint on that for the next day or so. This cord here goes to the outlet on the wall to charge the batteries. 
So the bad thing about this black box is it constantly pulls power. So I didn't hook up those wires yet, but every time I get in the boat and want to use a live scope, I'll have to plug these in. So I'll probably keep a screwdriver in this compartment just for that. Oh boy, she's done. The boat is freaking done, about time. So it has been six months since I started working on this boat build and it honestly feels like three months. Like I had no idea I was six months in until Nate brought it up. I was like, dude, six months in, that's freaking crazy. It's been a long time, but all the work shows. I mean, this boat is freaking awesome. I am stoked with how it came out. This is probably the last boat build video on this boat. Now, there's gonna be probably one or two more, me working on the trailer, adding a few small touches, finishing a few spots of paint, but uh, for the most part, this is it, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this build series. It's, it's been a crazy, crazy journey, but it has been an awesome journey, and I'm glad you guys were here to follow along with me. All right, guys, so here is the final look at the boat. It's not final. I still need to add this sticker here with the ruler. I went ahead and threw the rods up here just to get an idea of how that looks, but I need to add the strap that will strap those down as well, somewhere in this area. I wanna fish it first before I uh, do that. I wanna figure out how I want the boat and then we'll figure that out. But guys, I'm also going to order a bunch of custom decal stickers to stick on the inside of these hatches. So if you guys have a logo or any stickers you want me to throw in this boat, my PO box is in the description below. You can send them to me and I will save a hatch and just for you guys, just for the fans, for everyone watching, I will throw your decals on this boat. So that would be pretty cool, I think. Send them my way and I'll stick them on the boat. It's been awesome, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Bye.